Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. Time again for another knife of the day. Brand new. Just received four brand new knives from Spyderco. I wanted to rush this one to you. It's the brand new Native 5 with Crucible's Rex 45 Steel FRN Scales. I think the last video I did with one of the new um, Rex 45 knives was actually the Native with G10 Scales. You can see that right here. The Native with G10 Scales. Now we have the Native Lightweight with FRN Scales. And boy, it's a lot lighter. I'm just happy that we're seeing all of these knives show up. About two years ago, Spyderco released three of their American-made knives, the military, the paramilitary, and the para-3 with burnt orange G10 scales and Rex 45 steel. This year, they promised us, in the first quarter, they promised us that they would rush out as a sprint run eight new knives with burnt orange scales and Rex 45 steel. So when we're done, we'll have 11 knives. Right now we have seven of them when you include this brand new NATO 5 lightweight. And we're expecting four more. And I'll tell you, three of the last four are doozies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, we're expecting the little native with G10 scales. We're expecting another Mannix 2, and this time with FRN scales. We just got that Mannix 2 with the G10 a couple of weeks ago. And then the two big knives, the big native knives, newer knives, both introduced two years ago. The native Chief and the Shaman. So we're expecting four more knives. Little Native with G10, Mannix 2 with FRN scales, the Native Chief, and the Shaman. <laughs> I'm so excited. And that's just the start of what they're going to be releasing. They have a lot more knives, two new blade steels, one of the blade steels, a new blade steel from Crucible, that's an exclusive to Spyderco. One fixed knife, I can't wait to show you. But right now, let's talk about the Sprint Runs. Now remember, a Sprint Run is a limited edition Spyderco. These things are going fast. When they're coming from Spyderco, they're 1,200 knives, give or take a couple of hundred. Now, along with this knife, I received three producer exclusives. Okay, knives coming from distributors. They had an arrangement with Spyderco to do an exclusive. And their exclusives are usually limited to about 500 to 600 knives. And that's why you notice they announce something and then they go fast. Can't wait to show you these exclusives. They're very good exclusives as well. But let's get back to this. Man, this is, with everything going on, which has really been depressing me, <laughs> to see all these great knives come in is just exciting. Very exciting for me. So let's talk about the Native 5 Lightweight. Native 5 Lightweight. So it's the fourth release this year of the Rex 45 family. Of course, it has Crucible's Rex 45. Remember, that's the American version 
of HAP40 steel, the Japanese steel. Now, Spyderco actually did a sprint run of all of their Japanese-made knives with burnt orange scales. <laughs> yeah, mostly FRN scales. Um, and the blades, and they were all sprint run. That was about two or three years ago. So now they're coming back, and this time around, they're going to have some G10 and some lightweights of all their American-made knives, of course, the native American-made knife. All of these knives made in Colorado. So, of course, it's the native, just like the other native. Three inches is the blade. Of course, it has a full forward choil, full flat ground blade, full forward choil, 50-50 choil. That's a spidaco thing. 50% of the choil, to get a big choil that will even hold my fingers, 50% of the choil is steel, and 50% of it is scales, handle. See that? So when you take away that 50% of the choil from that 3-inch blade, the cutting edge is 2.4 inches. The total length, 6.9 inches. Now, lightweight means lightweight. And it's so obvious when we talk about the weight of these things. Now, the native right there with G10 scales, it did not have liners, no liners. Back lock, just like this has a back lock. The G10 version was 3.7 ounces. The lightweight, 2.4 ounces. Just 2.4 ounces. So we're talking about a big savings in weight. It's so light. And of course, the native, that perfect size for me for me if you if you're interested in a larger knife well the chief and the shamans come in your way but i like this smaller knife nice three inch size the swedge on the blade looks great but also cuts off a little bit of the weight frn scales fiberglass reinforced nylon i call it space age plastic Four-way clip. You know, Spydeco is stuck on the native being the native. <laughs> and so <laughs> they have changed a lot of lightweight clips to the wire clip. I wish they would do that for the native, but that's fine. Sturdy clip on the native. Four ways. Right hand, left hand, tip up or tip down. It's all on you. The native has very aggressive jimping. Spyderco doesn't use a lot of aggressive jimping, but man, on the native, it really does. Just digs in. It's not going any place. Just a really nice, all-together knife, right out of the box, snappy as all get out. A lot of people don't like the back lock because it's not as fancy to open and close. And some of the other locks, the Spyderco gives you like the compression lock. But it is a sturdy lock and Spyderco has really improved it over the years. The texture on the FRN scales, great texture, that bi-directional texture depends on how you're, how you're holding the knife. One side of the texture goes one way, the other side the other way, so you're always covered, but it's good, grippy texture. Just a real nice EDC knife. And I'm so happy that Spyderco decided not just to get one version of everything, but if there is a lightweight pre-existing, they're also adding it to this collection. So the Para 3 that came with the original 3 two years ago, they released this year the Para 3 Lightweight. I can't wait till they do. 
I wonder why they haven't done the paramilitary two and the military as lightweights. Maybe we'll see those later this year or next year. But there you have it. Brand new. Half. Now we have half of the promised Rex 45 burnt orange American-made Spydeco knives. We're expecting four more in weeks, months, within probably a month or two. We're expecting the Mannix 2 FRN scales. We're expecting the Little Native. I know a lot of people are waiting for the Little Native. And we're expecting the Native Chief and the Shaman. Of course, the Shaman, a real popular knife with all kinds of variations. That family of Rex 45 burnt orange knives growing real nicely. Can't wait for more of them. I have some more knives, though, coming your way. These uh, distributors, exclusives, I think you'll find them interesting. Also, <laughs> I bought some more knives, and they aren't Spydeco. Three new knives that aren't Spydeco. They should be coming in the mail either tomorrow or Saturday or whatever. So I'm back on YouTube sharing my knives with you. Hope you guys are doing well. Keep safe. Keep happy. Most of all, keep healthy. Uh, appreciate all of you. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on your notifications. Keep those pockets full. Take good care of yourselves. Goodbye.